Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what you're looking at is a multifunction device. It was sent to me for review, and I'm going to take a look at it here. It has a lot of features. It, um, it has an FM radio. It plays MP3 files either through, let me zoom out here a little bit, either through one of these big old zip drives, thumb drives, whatever you want to call these darn things, or one of these little, and I don't have this one loaded with anything, one of these little TF drives plugs in the bottom here. So it can play MP3 files from both sources, has an FM radio. Did I already say you had an FM radio? Well, it's got an FM radio. It has record capability either off of the built-in radio or off of a, well, it's not obvious where it is, but there's supposed to be a microphone right here someplace. Maybe it's down in this hole. Um, this is, and you got to be careful because I don't like these things, and I usually cut them off. Well, this doubles as the FM antenna, so you don't want to cut this off. Otherwise, it probably won't receive very well. Uh, what else does it do? Oh, it's a power bank. So um, I'll show you the battery in a minute. You can use it to charge your cell phone maybe one time. That'd be about it. Um, it does not have a light. Making sure. Okay, it does not have a light. Some of these have lights. This one does not have a light. It has a earphone jack, and there's a micro... USB port, and then there's a full-size USB port. Uh, this one's used for a couple of things. It's used for charging the battery internally. It's used for connecting this to your computer to use this as your speaker computer, believe it or not. Uh, and I, let me see. Well, let's look. I, I'm, I'm going to break a habit. I'm going to look at the instructions. And it says that that port is used for also download. Now, I haven't figured out kind of what that is because I tried to connect to my PC and put in this little drive here, uh, chip, whatever you want to call it, and load it that way. I couldn't get that to work, but that could be me. I have to experiment some more with that. Um, it has it has this little LED screen that tells you what mode it's in. Right now, it's in PAUS mode, meaning pause. And it also, if you're in the radio mode, it'll show you the frequency. And it's Bluetooth. It's a Bluetooth speaker also, and I'm going to attempt to show you that feature because that's probably what I would use this for, and I'll show you why in a few minutes. So the control buttons are on the top here. Unfortunately, they're just the lettering is just embossed, so it's white on white, so it's kind of hard for me to read. But there's not that many buttons, and you go quickly get used to what button does what. Okay, that I think is about it. Oh, here's the battery compartment. Let me get this out of the way. And uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so here's the battery compartment right here. He uses one of these monster single cell rechargeable batteries. There's three, one of those 3.7 lithium ion battery. This one is... 2,200 milliamp hours, and I, I've got, I didn't like these at first, but I've kind of gotten used to them because so many companies are going to them. They provide, provide a lot of power in a small package, and this is chargeable while it's in the unit, so that you don't have to have a separate charger, and they seem to last a long time, especially for these small devices that don't use much power. Now, <clears throat> so what I was playing, and I'll start again. 
Okay, there's a pause in the music. Now, let's go to the next. You push this button here. There we go. The audio, the audio is darn good. Now, look how small this thing is. It fits in my hand. Tell how small it is. But the audio from this thing is pretty darn good and pretty loud. <clears throat> What else was I going to say? I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, now, the dilemma I have, and we set this aside for a second, and we'll zoom out. Whoop. Zoom out. O-U-T, out. Okay. So here is my little uh, Amazon Fire. And by the way, this comes from Amazon. It sells for sixteen ninety five. It's called the Rolton E300. And it comes with various colors. This is, although it may not show up on my camera very well, this is actually purple. Okay. This is my little Amazon Fire that somebody gave me. And the one drawback it has, like many tablets, it's not the only one that has this drawback, is the speakers are on the back. This has one speaker right here on the back. And typically, you've got that set up so that that speaker oh my god i just saw myself in there oh geez sorry about that i should have warned you about that uh see if i can keep myself out of the picture there um number one these don't have very loud audio and uh typically you're using it like this or you've got it laid down or something like that so the speaker gets covered up so you don't hear the speaker now what I do, I bought this case for it. This is a nice little case. And if I fold it just right, kind of like that, let me show you, let me show you a side view. If I fold it like this, then that makes a little uh, acoustic chamber, which helps get the audio out. But invariably, it gets tapped and it falls flat, and then I can't hear anything. So... When I got this, I thought, wait a minute, I can get these two devices to connect up via Bluetooth, and then I'll have this for my speaker. I can set it next to it, or I can set it someplace even closer to me, or put it in my lap, for that matter, and I'll be able to hear what's going on. So we're going to attempt to do that. God, look at all the fingerprints. These things, these glossy uh, finishes on these displays really show the fingerprints okay so let's turn this on i hope this works i did it before okay i've turned this all okay now it's coming on and we can zoom back in a little bit okay now what i'm going to attempt to do is i have an application on here that can text connects to the radio reference website so that you can live, listen to scanners throughout the world, throughout the United States, throughout the world, um, via a scanner application. And I like to just have that running in background, but typically with this thing, the way it configures itself, I can't hear it. And I typically uh, have it, I want to listen to the scanner in background, so I'm not directly listening. Let me open this up before it disappears. I'm not directly listening to it. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go into settings and you have to turn on Bluetooth. And then with this in the Bluetooth mode and um, the mode button for selecting what mode you want is the first one over here. Radio. So, that's in the FM mode. That's in record mode. Power bank. That's in the power bank mode if you want to use this to charge your cell phone. Bluetooth. Now it's in Bluetooth. Device to connect. Connected successfully. Okay. What, what she said, and I apologize for the audio. The audio on this thing is much better. It's that it's, it's coming, it's being recorded through my noise canceling headphones. So number one, it's quite a ways away from the device. And number two, 
that headphones is is made for recording the human voice, not music. So this doesn't sound as good on my recording as it does live. So anyway, it did connect. And like I was saying was you have to go in here in your device and you have to turn on Bluetooth and then you turn this on and then you the this device, the fire in this case the tablet, will see that Bluetooth device and you say and you click on that and say connect. You do that once and then it's set up unless you change to a different Bluetooth device. So right now these two devices should be talking to each other. So the audio out of my tablet should now be coming out of the speaker. So let me go to this application, go down here and find it. It's down on the bottom here, which is the, let me zoom in temporarily, which is the scanner radio application. So I'll click on that, and I'll click on Pinellas County. That's the where I'm at. Sorry, you can't see that. There we go. So now it's listening to a radio that someone has put on this network. Um, and this particular radio is monitoring the Pinellas County Fire and EMS. Now, that one, okay, I just heard it, heard a beep. That one's not very active, especially this time of the morning. So let me go back. Okay. Okay, so the sound is now coming out of this device versus the tablet. And I can, it's, I can hear it loud and clear, and I don't even want to have the volume set to. Let me see what I got the volume set to. I had it set to 23. Okay, I got it at max now. Again, bear in mind that what you're hearing is going through my headphones microphone. And I can say that particular station is not that active. Let me go back um, and let me select top scanners. Uh, let me back out here so you can see what I'm doing, kind of not that it's that important. Okay, so now, now in this scanner application, I selected top 50 scanners. And, of course, Chicago it's always the most active. It's got 1,500 listeners. So I'm going to select that one because that's what, that one's really busy. Now we should hear a lot of audio once it gets synced up. Anytime now. Wake up. Well... Come on, Chicago. I just told you, told my viewers that you were busy. Why isn't it working? There we go. Well, that was exciting. You can also control the volume out of this with your settings on, on your tablet. Now, let, let me see if I can do this for Grinson. So far, I've been pretty lucky. So you can hear, maybe, that the audio is now coming out of... So September 2016, this guy right here. And I can turn the volume down here. I can turn the volume down. There. So I'm still controlling the volume on the tablet, and I'm also controlling the volume on this speaker. Now, let me see if I can go back to the tablet. Now, first I'll let you listen for a few seconds, and let me turn this back to max. That's max volume on the tablet. Oh, sure, and they're not going to say anything now. Usually Chicago is like nonstop, but it is probably 6 o'clock in the morning in Chicago. Maybe that's why it's not as busy. Come on, Chicago. Pfft. 
Wouldn't you know it? Getting a lot of beeps. Oh, joy. Well, anyway, what I was going to show you is I was going to show you the audio coming from the tablet via Bluetooth to the speaker, how it sounded, and then I was going to turn the Bluetooth connection off, and then you would just hear it from the tablet. But for some reason, Chicago is not doing too good. It could be that I don't have a... Okay. Okay, that's going to the Bluetooth speaker. So I'm going to turn this off. Now that's that speaker is off. You can see the display is off. There's nothing on the display. So yes. So because that connection is lost, the tablet knows that now it has to use the internal speaker. And I'm just going to lay this back down. It's at full volume. There's the volume control right there. Full volume. Okay, it's not doing too bad. And if I turn this over, close it up, turn it over, there's the speaker right there. Okay, even with it turned over, it's still not lo as loud as this guy. Plus, it's a little tinny where, surprisingly enough, this has got a nice full sound. Like I say, you may not be able to detect it via my headset microphone, which is how you're listening to it. So, that's another feature. Let me, uh, let me shut this guy off. Uh, I've got to remember where the button is. Oh, right there. Okay. So that should be off. So for sixteen ninety five, you get an FM. Now, oh, well, I, didn't, I didn't get this off. Stand by. I just got it. The display turned off. That's all I did. Stop. Okay, I got that stopped. Okay. Um, what this does is it has the FM radio. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the FM radio, and I don't want to sh show it to you because there's a big chance that there's music playing that's copyrighted, and I can't record that. So I'll just talk about it. So the first thing you do when you, t when you go to the FM radio mode is you hold down the, uh, the hold down, um, the forward button, which is this this button right here. Whoops, this button right here. It's got it's got five buttons. This is the power button. This is the plus button, either to the next channel um, or to increase the volume. This is the pause play button. This is the minus button, and then this is the mode button. Again, not very. It's you have to look closely, at least, at least I do. Anyway, <clears throat> when you're in the FM mode by pushing the mode button until it comes up FM mode, you push and hold that pause play button. And when you do that, <clears throat> it goes into the scan mode looking for stations. Now, my observation was that it finds a lot of non-stations, a lot of just noise, <clears throat> and it stores that in its memory bank. Also, <clears throat> this is set up for, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sciences are starting to clear this morning. Um, this is set up for international FM, which means it goes below the normal U.S. FM frequency. So you pick up some noise down there. Again, 
it's just noise. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find, because I don't remember offhand. It says somewhere, or where's FM? It, so the frequency range on this device is 76 to 108 megahertz, which is beyond the frequency range for the United States, which is not a problem, except it's picking up what it thinks are stations below the frequency used in the United States. <clears throat> and it stores it in memory. So you end up with, in my case, I ended up with about 10 stations that are just noise. They're not real stations. Or they're exceptionally weak stations. So that if you turn it, actually, if you move this thing, which is the FM antenna, if you move that thing, you could lose the station. There's no way that I know of to delete those stations it found. I have not found any way to delete it. So they're stuck in memory. So as you're using the plus button or the minus button to go through the various memory channels it found, frequencies it stored in memory, uh, you're going to hit those dead ones and you can't get rid of them unless you maybe crumple up the antenna so the antenna is not very sensitive and then it will only find strong stations in your area. But the good news is it finds a lot of stations. I bet you in the Tampa Bay area where I live, I bet you it found 25 real stations. We have a lot of FM stations in our area. So it found a lot of stations. Unfortunately, I cannot delete the ones that I don't want. I can't delete the ones that are just pure noise. I can't delete the ones that are, for instance, hard rock, which I'm not interested. So I got all those stations I don't want. So that's the one drawback of the FM tuner. Okay, so that's the FM tuner. We talked about the MP3 player. We, we showed you the Bluetooth function. You can use this, like I could say, via cable. You can use this as a PC speaker. Didn't get that working. Um, you can use this as a power bank. So let me pull this out. <clears throat> so you can connect a cable here and you can connect it to uh, your cell phone and <clears throat> whatever uh, power is left in it, it would attempt to charge your cell phone. Um, it does have a timer so that you can have it playing for us for 15 minutes or so and um, it will shut off by itself. So you can use it at night when you go to bed. Also, and I have not used that function, it's a recorder. It will record both from the internal FM radio and from a microphone, I think, which is right here, onto this SD card or TF card. So that's it. $16.95 from Amazon. Um, there's so many of these out there nowadays. This, um, I think this is okay. Uh, the price is good, $16.95. So check it out. It's the Rolton E300. This one is the purple one, even though it might look blue on my camera. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Sorry for the uh, little coughing spell. You know, if the, if the possible president can have a coughing spell, I can have one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.